our road is officially open and it's been blocked from ice since May 5th. The ice completely covered the road from this point all the way out to the village, which is about 1.8 miles. And there was thir about 30 feet of ice on there. I was born and raised right in our village in my mom's old house. And I live here all my life. During the flood, I was in Fairbanks with my daughter. I didn't see the flood, but when I came back, it was very sad to see. The road is important to us because there's, uh, there's a lot of people who travels back and forth and the road they make temporary is, I don't like it because it, uh, you meet people and you can't get out of the way. This is the only access road to the new and old village. We don't have to use the plastic road no more. It's called Duramat. They say they use it up on the slope. Um, it's just horrible though, going through the tundra here. But I'm glad that all you guys help us and everything like that, that it opened up and now we could just go back and forth on our own road.